So what do these three actresses, two TV hosts, comedian, and male drummer of the hard rock band Kiss all have in common? They're famous faces who've bravely battled breast cancer and have shared their personal stories publicly. Beyond star power, no surprise, people right here in our community have been affected by the disease. And thank goodness they willingly continue to spread awareness at walks and events, especially during October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Before I was diagnosed, I didn't hear a lot about breast cancer. I had a maternal aunt who had breast cancer, so I knew about her. But it was like, it was something that people, you just didn't talk about that kind of thing. So there wasn't a lot of education. There wasn't a lot of people sharing stories. I think it's a reality check. I mean, I am very close to my mother's age, not quite, when she was actually first diagnosed. I was just out of college, and I have a son who's getting ready to go to college, and it just puts everything in perspective. But every single day, all year long, specialized experts like those at Inova Alexandria Hospital are not only at the forefront of diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer, but also support and education. Patients can be a little overwhelmed with the diagnosis, with the treatments. Family as well can have a difficult time processing all this information. And so Life with Cancer is an organization that we have here that looks at patients' needs as a social, psychiatric, anything else in, in regards to just not the medical care itself, but everything that supports their medical care. So what do you and all the specialists discuss at the tumor board? Tumor boards in general around the country have become a major focus for cancer centers. We have a chance to sit down to discuss each individual case that is in any way concerning to us or unique or that we have any questions on and we want to get other people's opinion, we bring it up in the tumor board and it gives a very good setting to hear to everyone to see the data, we all look at the images, we all look at the pathology, and then one person will present the case, and we all give our opinions on this is how we think this should be treated. Innova's Tumor Board is one of the few community hospitals with genetic counselors, specialists who help determine if a patient may or may not have a genetic cause for cancer. Genetics is always changing. We're always finding out that there's new genes to test for, there's new treatments we can do with that. Um, I think it's also important to remember genetics shows you what's coming from both sides of your family. So not only your mom or your sisters, but what's coming from dad's side as well. If someone didn't have a genetic marker for breast cancer, it doesn't mean that you will never get breast cancer in the future. It just means you don't have an extremely high risk. And for patients already diagnosed, their genetic tests may also help them decide between surgery options as well as targeted treatment options. Is there some sort of preconceived notions that people think that radiation is bad and that we shouldn't do that and it's our final option? Or is it something where you have like a lot of statistics that thank goodness these women got the radiation? I think it's the latter. Radiation has a definite place in breast cancer. There are some cancers where radiation has fallen out of favor in, in comparison to stronger chemotherapies or something like that, especially in pediatric populations where we know the late side effects of radiation can be dramatic. In those patient populations, we look to see how we can cut back on radiation. But in breast cancer, we've shown for decades now that the if you do a lumpectomy and you do radiation, you have equivalent outcomes as if you did a mastectomy. So that becomes the basic data that supports us and radiation has been incorporated into so much of breast cancer at this point. Annual screening mammograms have dramatically changed the course of breast cancer in our country. We are now able to detect smaller tumors, earlier tumors, which means that you could forego radiation in some of those cases. 